Today I'm going to do an experiment on my iPhone. I want to know if it's possible to use a separate charging circuit to charge my battery. And if that's possible, what's going to happen? Let's get started. So over here I got two batteries. This is the first battery that I put on the phone about nine months ago. And um, this one is already dead. And so I replaced with a new battery and this is the new battery on the phone right now. So I put this battery on my phone nine months ago and it's been working fine for nine months until last week my phone just suddenly shut down with no warning at all when it reached about 40 to 50 percent. I spent some time to find out why and it turned out that this phone was overcharging this battery and killed this battery. It's a long story, so I'll talk about that in the uh, in a separate video. So I went ahead and replaced with a new battery. I was thinking if I can find a different way to charge my battery without having to plug in my phone because it's intentionally made to overcharge my battery. So I went ahead and installed this TP456 board. This is what it looks like. It is, it's pretty small, so it can fit on my phone very easily. This board is made for charging lithium ion battery like these and I solder directly onto the battery terminal so that I can just plug this onto a USB power device to charge my battery without having to use the phone's original BMS to charge it. This method works fine but has a drawback because the battery is not being charged by its own BMS the battery state of charge is not being registered on the phone. But well, actually it does, but uh, only half of the time. So let me explain. Right now the phone's state of charge is 84%. I'm gonna use my USB cable here. And I'm gonna plug in the uh, TP456 board to charge the battery. You can see the LED light turn red indicating that it's charging the battery and the battery state of charge right now is still 84% and it doesn't show the charging icon to indicate that it's charging even though it's charging on the back of my phone right now with a different BMS not through the phone's original BMS so it cannot sense that the phone is being charged right now it doesn't know and if I plug this this is the original uh, iPhone uh, cable and plug this right on the bottom here of the phone this is where we usually plug it in to charge it right and plug this in here you can see it ding and then it's showing that it's charging the battery but if I unplug this and it's showing that the battery is not charging even though I'm still charging the battery so this light when it turns red that means it's charging the battery if it turns blue it's either the battery is full or it's not charging the battery so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this TP456 board charge my battery until it's full so until this light turns blue and I'll come back and show you what happens right so it's been about half an hour and the battery is full you see the blue light on the uh, TP456 card now let's check on the status of the battery state of charge here still 84% so still the same thing Let's check on the battery voltage. See what we got here. 4.20 volts. So that's exactly 4.2 volts. So this board is doing a good job in charging my battery and it stops at exactly 4.2 volts and does not overcharge my battery. So the problem here is that the phone is not being charged by its own BMS. Therefore it cannot sense the state of charge of the battery when it's being charged 
a different BMS. But there's a twist to this, is that it does not detect anything more than 84%, anything that's being judged by the TP456 board. But as long as the battery is discharged down to 84% or less, it will start detecting the state of charge of the battery again. So for example, here we have, we have the battery here. Right? So we got 84%, which is about that much. Now this part here, the white part here, is being charged by the TP456 right? card. But right now the battery is 100%. It only detects this part. Right? So now if I unplug this board and let the battery discharge down until it gets to 84%, then the state of charge of the battery will begin to detect the actual percentage of the battery and we will we'll start displaying the correct percentage of the battery from starting from 84% down to 0%. So it still works, it's just that it does not detect anything more than from the time you plug this in to charge the battery. However, I found one way for the phone to start detecting the state of charge of the battery and that is by restarting the phone. So let's restart the phone. Now I turn it back on. Come on. There we go. Now it's back on. i show you the state of charge of the battery. 96%. So it does display the actual correct state of charge of the battery if I just restart the phone. I also try some third party apps like this one here. I'm just trying to find a way to restart the state of charge of the battery so that it will display correctly the state of charge of the battery. But uh, this here seems to be the same as what is displayed on the top here. So you can see here battery charge, battery charge 94%. I don't know what this is but the bottom here, the blue part here, 94%, 94%. You saw it jump from 95 to 94. This would jump the same way. So this app just copy exactly the data from the phone, from the phone's original BMS. Whatever the display on the top here will copy exactly the same. So there's no point of using this. And there's no way on this app to restart the uh, battery status. I'll show you another app here. Same thing for this one. 94% on the top, 94% on the app. So it, it's just copy exactly the same thing from the phone's original BMS. It's nothing new here. Setting, there's no way on this app that allow me to restart the state of charge of the battery. So it's pretty much useless. So my solution for this problem is either uh, use this board to charge my battery and then once in a while just restart the phone so that I can see the state of charge of the battery. Either that or uh, I can still use uh, the original BMS and plug in the phone to charge it. But then uh, I have to watch out for the percentage and only charge it up to I would say about 90%. When I plug this in, I'm gonna only charge it up to nine, about 90% and no more. Otherwise, this will overcharge my battery again and will kill the battery very quickly. And that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.